Hello everyone, it's Cobra, and welcome to my review on Edward Yang's Ye Ye. So I had seen a brighter summer's day before, and I knew that Ye Ye was meant to be even better. So I was like, let's watch this. Let's watch the hell out of this. I was so excited, and it paid off in every single way. In its almost three hours of runtime, there is not a single moment wasted. All the characters are amazing, well developed, and either likable or interesting enough to keep you watching. Every single person, every single cast member is absolutely fantastic and you've got everything in this movie from betrayal and family drama are condom balloons so you really can't complain. Cinematography is just got some of the most beautiful shots. It's just so well done, it's so smartly put together and presented I felt like I was watching a piece of art and I, I was because this movie is fucking art. It's so amazing and I can't think of one negative thing to say about it. The ending is impactful, it's deep, the movie's very wise, it's very smart, it's very well driven, plot driven, character driven and you know every character has their own motive you've got a mix of childhood and you know school life to adult life corporate business and daily grind and things like that you know this is a taiwanese film it's taiwan and it's the second taiwan film i've seen like i said the, the first one was a brighter summer's day which i will review in future but my god i just you need to watch this film if you haven't seen it and if you have seen it you need to watch it again because I just how do they there was at least 50 instances in this film where I was like how do they do that how do they keep me so invested with this you know it's like such a slow burn but it just feels like you know it's so well executed and the build up is fantastic but you don't even care how slow it is it's fantastic and I mean yeah, definitely. It's it, it's a fucking it's a five star film. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye.